Welcome back again to Lewis Family Farms and today we are going to be sharing with you how we prepare our beds for planting our seeds. Uh, so we live on a hillside. We do not yet have a greenhouse that our nursery that we can prepare our seeds um, seedlings. We normally buy seedlings from a nursery, but it, as the volume of our our planting increases, then also the amount or expenses increase. And in order to minimize those expenses we have decided to start planting or sowing some of our seeds uh, we are using beds these beds are about 48 inches wide and uh, we are on the hillside so what we are doing is logs that we have secured while we were clearing the land for farming we place them alongside the hill horizontal along the hill and uh, then we use our fork to fork the land on the opposite side and push them back to the log so it's forked from this side and push them back to the log in order to create a level um, bed so that has been done we have done our forking already our soil is um, probably about about 80 85 percent 90 percent clay so we have to prepare the, the, the soil and give it some time to actually soften and to loosen in order to plant our seeds so preparation has to begin sometime a couple of weeks before um, we are actually ready for the seedlings depending on the kind of seeding seedlings we are are, are are preparing here we are preparing beds for replanting our scotch bonnet peppers and um, we are trying to go again with another 10,000 scotch bonnet peppers so I'm not so sure, but I'm hoping this should be able to to hold the 10,000 seedlings. All right. So what we have done, as I said, we we dug the the, the earth already and pushed it back alongside the log. Then uh, we are now adding our chicken manure. So we try to be as organic organic as possible. These chicken manures, as you can see, they are well well decomposed well in the middle is not so decomposed as yet but um they are well decomposed um they are probably about a, a year old and as you can see earthworms are just naturally i think this is a centipede that is not an earthworm that's a centipede but um they do their job but as you can see it's filled with earthworms so it's very rich very rich in nutrients all over you can see and we didn't put these earthworms there they're just there naturally there all over the compose earthworms you can see earthworms there earthworms so very rich and actually ready for planting our seedlings so what we do is spread our seedlings across the beds and then after spreading our compost across the bed chicken manure we just use our rake and actually spread the chicken manure evenly so we try to spread it as evenly as possible we don't want it to be too strong in any um, area in a single area because we are trying to get an even growth in our seedlings we don't want some to be growing away from some all right and by actually doing this we're actually getting a more perfect level and a more refined um, finish product for our for the planting of our seedlings so or, or for the sowing of our seeds so I'm just gonna pause the video and go ahead and spread this and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like after I'm finished spreading all right all right so so now we're finished um, preparing our bed and um, I'm sorry if you, I'm sure if you can see it so clearly but uh, yeah so that darker spot the reason why it is so it is darker than the rest of the soil or the rest of the land is because we have spread 
or chicken manure in it so it's actually rich now we would normally just sow in it because the seeds will not germinate pepper seeds won't germinate until about uh, uh, seven or eight days so it will actually get sun water and and time to to to, to, to dry and become more decomposed and blended blended into the soil even before the seeds are germinated so um so 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 just to share with you that is how we go about preparing our beds for seeds all right so until next time blessed love from us here at lewis family farms mm -hmm.